memory of uh, the late Bishop His uh, Eminence Mor Yuliu Sesu Chichar. As I already mentioned, he helped us a lot to construct the seminary and also the this chapel and uh, with the support of our Serene Orthodox people from Europe. So that's why his name will remain here until the church, Serene Orthodox Church exists in India. So this library is dedicated for his loving memory. And this is a new garden recently we uh, set out for the, because uh, seminary is a place where these, these students, they should have an ecological awareness and also the aesthetic sense. So when they go back to the parishes, they should know how to maintain the church premises. and here we have planted lot of fruit trees. When you come next time, maybe then you can plant some fruits from the area. So that will be a fruit garden then there, this part here. He, with the help of and support of our Sri Northwest people from Germany, Holland, and Europe, yeah, they helped us to construct this uh, building. That's why many names uh, of the Sri names also can be yes. seen here that I am showing here. Yes. This is the temple. Yes. Yes. Construct the uh, hostel and uh, some of the parishes they sponsored the rooms or they partially supported to construct the. Working in the garden, so uh, as I said, the Saturdays they uh, have uh, the Saturday and Sunday they have holidays, and they now they are also helping to maintain the garden. <laughs> And this is our chapel, as I said, uh, every morning, midday and evening we have uh, prayers here and uh, every Wednesday we have Holy Kurbono here. And this, this is the uh, present library, it is very small and only 20 or 25 students can mm -hmm. sit inside. So that's why we constructed a new, seminar, a new library, these three storied buildings. Yes. This is our new project. Uh, the construction is almost finished, but now we have to get uh, uh, the uh, furnitures. So then by end of July, 
the beginning of August, then we will get these furnitures. And uh, I hope we hope that uh, by August or September we can shift to the new library. Then we want to make it as a Syriac Research Institute also we want to establish here. And the building that uh, then you, uh, you can zoom it up. Uh, but you can after you record. Uh, you okay, there uh, uh, the new the, the construction is going on there. It is the convent as well as we are constructing a new orphanage there. Yes. Yes. So as I mentioned, um, the, the sisters are residing there, and uh, that new orphanage it is uh, also partially. Uh, uh, Syrian Orthodox um, family from Sweden, they are also helping a little bit to construct that. So we hope that uh, in five or six months that will be finished and we can accommodate. This is the back side. Yeah. This is the seminary chapel. Uh, so we do our prayers here in this chapel. Every morning, midday and evening we have can be accommodated there. Yes. So these are uh, uh, some projects and uh, as you have seen we have a big school there with 1,400 children and uh, 300 children they are from very poor family backgrounds we are supporting them and we have some sponsors to help these children there. So and another school is also for the uh, children from the very poor backgrounds so we are constructing a new building for them uh, and we have some one another project it is for to we collect the people from the street the mental <coughs> patients and we keep them and uh, uh, protect them uh, and also we are constructing a house for the their the royal the unmarried priest uh, that it's also running very well i uh, know no, it's not in the construction not finished yeah. but it's under construction yeah so by the grace of god and uh, the blessings of His Holiness Moran Mori Ignatius Saka first and uh, with the great support of our brothers and sisters from Europe, the Serene Orthodox, uh, faithful. So everything flourishing very well and we thank especially our uh, uh, bishops. Uh